Hey guys, so for today's video I have another dupe alert video. I've been doing these a ton this week. This is my second one this week. This is a dupe alert video including Jessup brushes from eBay. Now you guys might be familiar with me talking about them. I did a video a long time ago about Jessup brushes, their whole like kabuki set and it was another dupe alert video and I kind of compared it to the Sigma kabuki set and just any other kabuki sets out there, higher end ones. I'm here with another video for Jessup brushes because they actually have some new ones that they came out with that aren't just kabukis. There's some really great eye blending brushes, some really great face brushes that are some dupes to some higher end um, brands. So I just want to say I'm not going to specifically be pinpointing which brand I'm saying these are dupes for. There can be dupes for Sigma ones, they can be dupes for some MAC ones. I really just wanted to put out this video as a dupe alert because really these brushes are so cheap and they're pretty much dupes for any high-end makeup brush. So I'm going to be comparing them as I go along. Um, to what kind of brushes they remind me of um, so I'll let you guys know as I go along but I'm not doing like exact comparisons if that makes sense let me go ahead and just give you guys a review on these brushes and let me show you guys what brushes I'm even talking about so these are the Jessup brushes they're a 15 piece set they come with a bunch of face brushes and then a bunch of eye brushes and eyeliner and lip brushes and things like that so Jessup actually sent me these brushes the first time around when I did the Jessup brushes video I actually purchased them myself and they actually saw that video and the kind of the impact that it had and the attention that it got and they reached out to me so they did send me these brushes but I did not at all have to do this video I just tried it out because they wanted me to try their new ones out and I posted on Instagram and a bunch of you guys I got like 50 comments asking me to please do a video on them so that's what I'm here doing for you guys today a definite requested video so like I said there's some face brushes and there's some eye brushes I'm gonna go ahead and start with the face ones first I'm not gonna be going like in depth in depth I just want to give you guys an overall review first and then I'll go into kind of each brush that the set comes with and my thoughts and everything like that. So just a full review on these brushes. What my first initial reaction to them is that they had really great packaging and they really actually stepped up their packaging because they actually named each brush like large concealer, blending, taper blending, you know what I mean? They really kind of stepped it up and really try to amp up their game. And I'm actually going to have a list down below of which eBay sellers are actual authorized Jessup brushes sellers and if you get it from any other seller they're not exact Jessup ones all in all I feel like these brushes are really great quality if you missed that video definitely watch it for a more in-depth review on just Jessup brushes in general my previous video I mentioned these are awesome they don't shed they feel like you know Mac or Sigma or Morphe or just really any other brush brand they're super 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 awesome just because you can get these for I think $11 is the cheapest that I found it for and I absolutely feel like the quality is amazing. Now the second thing that I noticed when I first got these brush set is that I noticed some of the brushes have less hairs than I expected, if that makes sense. And for example, I'll uh, give you guys an example. So for the powder brush, it is not as dense and it doesn't have as much hairs as say the RC Cosmetics one or the Sigma one. So I'll just show you guys an example. So this is the RC Cosmetics brush, which is pretty much the same as the Sigma one. And it looks like they're the same. But when you look at how they bounce on my hand, do you notice that the, the RC Cosmetic one kind of stops whereas the Jessup one kind of goes right in? Like the hairs are less in them whereas the RC Cosmetics has more hairs. I really like to use this one because it does have less hairs so it's really great for just sweeping loose powder if you just want like, like for example if you have dry skin and you don't like to pack on the powder this is perfect because it'll just give you a light sweep of powder. The blush one as well it's not quite as dense and as full of hair as maybe an RC Cosmetic as a Sigma one would be. They actually do have a brush like this which is like a tapered face one this reminds me of the tapered face one that uh, Sigma sells, and I don't know the exact name for it, but this really reminds me of that. I don't own it, but it reminds me of that. It's not quite as tapered. It's a little bit more round, but I've been loving this for bronzer. It just applies it perfectly, like perfectly. I've really been loving it. So let me just go into actually each brush. So I mentioned the powder brush, the bronzer one, and the blush one. I've personally been really liking them. I've been using them for about a week or two now just to kind of work with them and play with them. The other one that you get is this kind of concealer brush. Just being honest, I never use brushes like this. I, I honestly kind of never do, so I didn't try this one out to know how it works. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is the Duo, Fi Duo Fiber Powder Slash Blush Brush. I love this one. This one is awesome for blush, but what I've been using it for is for contouring. And I'm actually going to take a contour powder and show you guys. So I'm going to take my NYX Matte Bronzer. 
And you see how you just get that sharp line and then you turn it on its side and just kind of buff it in and blend it. And I personally feel like it just works so awesome. I love it for that. I really like a precise contour. This is kind of as slim as the NARS brush would be. So you would get that same like kind of precise line if that makes sense. Next you get some eye brushes. And the eye brushes I'm pretty excited for because, I mean, there's some of your basic ones like the um, flat definer. There's the short shader which I use for my lower lash line today you get the concealer brush which I love for pigments and for kind of uh, shaping your brows and everything like that you get the small eyeliner brush which I personally don't see myself using because I don't it doesn't look practical it's kind of square I personally narrowed it down and are my four favorite out of the eye brushes that you get this one is the large fluff brush and Sigma has one that's exactly the same RC Cosmetics has one that's exactly the same and I personally love this one for putting on primer. I used it in my Get Ready With Me today, and I really, really, really like it. Next is one that I'm super excited about, and this is the Tapered Blending Brush. This brush reminds me a lot of the E35 from Sigma. It also reminds me a lot of the MB23 by Morphe. They're very, very, very similar. The Morphe one's slightly longer. Um, this one, in comparison to the E35 from Sigma, is a little bit less fluffy. This is the E35 from Sigma. And as you can see, it looks a lot more puffy and fluffy at the top there. It never used to be that fluffy. Personally, for me, I feel like Sigma brushes, and just brushes in general, they kind of widen and get a kind of a little bit more looser as you use them. I've had those ones for about a year, so I feel like they got a little looser. So I feel like as I use this one, it might get a little bit looser as well. But as you can see, I have been using this, and I love it. It just gives you awesome, precise application, but it blends out at the same time. And I really like it. Not to mention, the packaging on these are super cute. This is the light pink with, like, the silver lettering. So the last two are this kind of tapered uh, crease blush. They call this the small tapered blending. This is perfect to put on outer corner shades or really get precise into the crease. And last one is the blending. I love this. Love, love, love. This is very similar to the E25 by Sigma, but it's a lot bigger. A lot bigger. It's basically its bigger sister, if that makes sense. Like, same shape, same fluff, same quality, everything. It's just a lot bigger. I also forgot to mention, um, for the face brushes, you get a tapered highlight. I love this brush. It pretty much is um, almost similar to the tapered highlighter. The only difference is that it doesn't come quite as much to a point. But I really like it. It works awesome for highlighter application, but I've really been liking it also to set the under eye. I just take a little bit of my Anastasia Banana Powder and pop that on, and it fits perfectly underneath there. So I've really been loving this one as well. That's pretty much it for each individual brush. If you are a makeup junkie, a beginner, a pro, you got to try these out because I feel like you would love them. No matter who you are, you would love them, especially beginners though because you don't want to spend too much. You kind of want to start small. And these are awesome. They're only $12 for 15 pieces. That's not even a dollar each. Like, hello. Personally, I've never had problems with my Jessup brushes shedding at all. But I know some of you guys have complained about that. And like I said, just make sure you're getting them from the actual authorized seller because those sellers could possibly be using... Um, different ones or selling different ones. Also, I do just want to mention um, my Jessup tapered kabuki that I showed in the video that I did long time ago. When I first started using it, it didn't shed, and then about a month or two after, it started shedding a lot on me. But then I noticed when I actually washed the brush, it didn't shed anymore. So just putting that out there, if you experience any shedding problems with any of these brushes, just try to wash them and then use them and see how that works because it worked out for me. Personally, I've been using Jessup brushes for about a couple months now, and now I have these ones that I've been using for about two weeks, and I feel like they're really great quality. For $11, like, you're getting awesome quality and awesome dupes for some higher-end brushes, so that's personally just my opinion, and I just wanted to come on here and, like, kind of just review these a little bit for you guys and show them to you guys because you guys really requested it when I posted it on my Instagram, which, by the way, please make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a giveaway really soon for 50k on YouTube and 10k on Instagram so make sure you're following me on there but yeah that's pretty much it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and like thumbs up if you want me to do more dupe alert videos and reviews and things like that and I will pretty much see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.